there is a huge accusation against the chief of staff of Burkina Faso and this is huge honestly because people are speculating or I'll read for you exactly what was written on a Twitter feed. It says the chief of staff to President Ibrahim Traore betrayed his country for 25 billion CFA and the coup was thwarted thanks to Burkina Faso's intelligence and we talked about it last week when this coup attempt happened and they were not successful thankfully because the people of Burkina Faso went out to the streets to say that this is not going to happen to our leader, we love our leader, we support our leader and we support this military government. We talked about it when it happened but now they're alleging that the chief of staff along with other associates of Ibrahim Traore have been involved in basically betraying not just Ibrahim Traore but their country by receiving 25 billion CFA which is I believe it's franc because unfortunately former colonies of France they still use franc that is associated with France. They're, they're still not able to discontinue. It's just crazy how they still do that when you think about it. So anyways, that's a different story. But what people are alleging is the fact that he has received money. For them, this was not just someone getting up and saying, I'm not happy with the leader and I want a coup and I want to change the situation for my country. No, they're alleging or they're claiming that they took money, they took bribe. In fact, 25 billion CFA in order to betray their own country and their own leader. But I keep saying allegedly for a reason, because the actual reports that came out of Burkina Faso is yes, the chief of staff along with other leaders and people in the military have been arrested and currently are being investigated, but they never said anything about the money. What has been reported is that the chief of staff of Burkina Faso's military was sacked a week after four officers, including two of his former close associates, were arrested under suspicion of involvement in the plot against Ibrahim Traoré. How sad is it though? The people that usually attack you or concoct this sad reality for you are the people that are really close to you and he won't be the first man unfortunately you know Thomas Sankara was taken out by his own close friend right and Thomas Sankara was not the only one as well and it's just crazy to think about Thomas Sankara was also a young leader in Burkina Faso and he had so much hopes and dreams for his people and changing Africa as a whole and he was assassinated by his own friend and his friend was working with other nations that did not want to see Burkina Faso succeed and Africa using our own natural resources basically. So it's just sad to see this repetitive thing happening to our leaders, not the bad ones. The bad ones will stay in power as long as they want because they're supporting what the puppet leaders want, but the good ones that get to serve their people for a few years because they get taken out by their own friends that they trusted or their own colleagues, the people that they have appointed in order to take care of business, they're the ones that sell them out. So it's unfortunate, but at least in this case, we can say it's a good news because it was thwarted and it was stopped swiftly. And as I reported before, the people went out to the streets to show support to their leader. So two things have changed here. One, either the intelligence is better or our young leader is more attentive to what's happening and he hired specific people in order to catch any kind of coup or selling out right away and also secondly the people you know back in the days a lot of heroes were lost because we didn't know better we can take that and accept that but now because we know better we're doing better and we should be happy that the people of Burkina Faso are showing their support and they're not shy about it. They're going out to the streets and telling us how they really feel, even if it means risking their lives. And that's a big thing. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this allegation.
the fact that the chief of staff of Burkina Faso took 25 billion CFA to betray his friend, his colleague, and his country, allegedly. <laughs>